Hi, hello, how are you guys? It has been a super long time since I've made just a plain old update video for YouTube, so I figure it's about time, because a lot of you guys are asking, What's coming on the channel? Am I going to play this game? Am I gonna play that game when it comes out? Et cetera, et cetera. So I figure, briefly summarize what we're gonna be doing the next couple months, um, which I'm super excited for. First and foremost, I hope that everybody is doing well. I hope everyone is keeping safe and healthy and standing up for what they believe in. Um, I know that the world over the past some months has just been it's been like a spiral effect, you know, like lots of stuff is going on at one moment. I feel like all of us are so tense. So it's kind of nice to know that we have a lot of great games to look forward to. Before I get started, I do want to shout out some new legendary patrons. We have Jay Waggy, Aramir, Robert, Ryan, and Kuba. Thank you so much for the donation to the channel. It helps me continue to do what I love, continue to put out content. If it weren't for you guys, this channel wouldn't have been up and running in the first place. So you eternally have my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So first things first, let me address the elephant in the room. I have been streaming a lot more. Um, I only stream two days a week though, Wednesdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. Eastern time if you guys want to join me, but I know that some of you are panicking, I think, that I might go full Twitch. I know, I know this happens to a lot of people. I don't plan on doing that, even though Twitch has been super fun for me, and I, I won't lie, it's been really nice to be able to talk to everybody in real time and to kind of experience a game and laugh about something together, even though, you know, I know that in the recorded videos, obviously, we're laughing at things together, but it, it's a more one-on-one -on -one experience, and then with Twitch, it's more of like a community experience. So it's been nice, to have both of those, to mix it up when I need to. I've just been having a lot of fun being able to talk to everybody. So yeah, I know some of you aren't huge fans of it, but I will say maybe you should try to stop by just at least once to kind of say hello and see how it goes, see how you feel about it, because I don't know, It's I feel like for the most part, it's really down to earth. Everybody is super chill um, until we get like crazy back seating, but I don't know. But yeah, that's been really nice. And essentially the way I'm going about it is not every game that I'm streaming am I re-uploading to YouTube because a lot of people don't enjoy those re-uploads, whereas, you know, some actually really do enjoy them. I think I will be utilizing that to an extent. Um, you are going to see some playthroughs might be a stream only and they'll just carry over to YouTube and then other playthroughs will be just strictly YouTube. So that being said, what I try to do when I am playing a game that I know is going to transition over to YouTube as a recording, while I'm streaming, I try to not take part so much in the chat, even though I want to make sure that I'm still looking at the chat because I get really excitable and I want to like talk to people. Like it's so fucking hard, guys. It's so hard for me sometimes to not talk to you, I swear. I've been trying to make sure it's it's still immersive, you know, aside from Luca fucking barking because he never shuts up. Luca barks constantly. I literally can't get him to stop. It's it's a problem. He, he has an addiction. So I think you can take solace in the fact that if there is a playthrough that is going to be streamed only and re-uploaded to YouTube, I'm not gonna be like super chatty and ignoring things. Um, I know for one, like Final Fantasy, I made sure not to look at the chat too, too much and I had a blast. I had so much fun being able to kind of like take a break in the downtime and kind of check the chat and talk to people about what just happened. And I still was capable of immersing myself in that game. God, that game was so good, guys. Can we just like take a moment and think about how good that game was? I know that y'all haven't seen it totally finished. I think there's maybe, I think there's maybe two more uploads of that on YouTube and then you guys will see the ending. And um, it is just a fucking great game. If you haven't played it, you need to play it you need to play it on your own. Because I don't think it does it justice to just watch almost. I feel like you really should play it for yourself and see how fun the battle system is. Like it's just, I don't know. It was just fantastic guys. And the story was so good and I can't wait for the next one. And what is that cat? And I, I don't know, just everything. So yeah, that is going to be a thing that I feel like some of you might have to get a little used to, but it's not going to be 
full time and I know y'all are panicking so much and I just I just want to make sure you guys understand there is still there's gonna be it's coming there's gonna be YouTube series we have like two weeks until The Last of Us 2 comes out and that 100% for sure will be just a YouTube playthrough I will be playing that and I know some of you guys are asking, you know, will you play it? Will you play it? Are you going to? Like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna play it. The Last of Us was such a staple um, on this channel that kind of brought people in and started to form the community. And I played that game like garbage because I hadn't played a full-blown game uh, in so, so long. So I'm hoping that I can do The Last of Us 2 a little bit more justice than when I played The Last of Us. But it was just so much fun because I feel like that was like kind of the foundation of where we are now. That's that's like who the Mars fam started out as. And and it's gonna be cool to experience the sequel with everybody. Um, and I feel like it's gonna be a very personal one-on-one -on -one experience. And I wanna keep that for just a recording for YouTube, just so that we can have that moment and really like get in depth with the story. And yeah, it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be really cool. I'm excited for that. In the meantime, since we have two weeks to kill, I'm going to be playing Tales from the Borderland. It is a telltale game and I couldn't get my hand on it for a while. I had to actually buy a physical copy, ignore my phone. Um, and I, I'm excited because I've heard that it's supposedly it's quite funny. So I'm really excited for us to be able to laugh with each other again and kind of just have a good time. Um, and Telltale games are just so much fun to play as well. As for Twitch, I did start streaming Dark Souls Remastered and I kind of like went into it with the thought of I'm not sure if I'm going to complete it. Like I'm still not 100% sure if I have the time to complete it but I've only played it twice now and I'm like full blown addicted. I don't want to stop. <laughs> like I just want to keep going and I don't know, it's like so different from Dark Souls 3. I, I think it's kind of hooked me a little bit. So I wasn't going to actually re-upload that to YouTube. That was not uh, gonna happen at all, but people have been asking and asking and asking for me to take that recording and upload it to YouTube So you're probably gonna see that that those streams are going to transition over and you'll be able to watch those uh, And have some fun cuz yeah, it's been fun. It's been really fun. And then I've also been kind of mixing it up I played Alien Isolation for the first time and I only saw like a brief glimpse of the alien itself those streams will not be re-uploaded to YouTube so I would suggest Y'all keep track of like my schedule and when I'll be streaming it, but it is really fun. It's really fun and it feels really cool to like touch things in that game and it looks really beautiful and everything just feels like it's very immersive, really, really immersive. Like you feel like you're really there, it's cool. And then the next big game that we have coming out is Ghost of Tsushima and yeah, the, I'm, I'm beyond hyped. Like I saw the trailers for that long back. And then I got to see some of the gameplay footage and I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. You get a horse and then everything feels so open and very nature oriented, you know, like you don't really get a map. The wind tells you where to go, things like that. Birds tell you where um, there might be like secret areas and stuff. And it's just, I'm, I'm super excited, but that will probably be a streamed game only. That being said, I will re-upload that to YouTube for sure because I know people are gonna wanna watch that. I'd love to see you guys there when I do play that because I'm, be, I'm gonna be so pumped. I'm gonna wanna explore every little bit of it. And since it's such a, what it seems like a big open world, I just feel like it's gonna fit better with the stream because we can kind of just do it all. Like just go and look at like a lot of shit. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting these, Witcher 3 type vibes from it, like from the world itself, which also makes it even more exciting because I fucking love The Witcher 3. If you know me, you know that I am just like obsessed with that game. So to summarize, we're gonna be playing Tales from the Borderland on YouTube, The Last of Us 2 on YouTube. I'm going to be streaming Dark Souls Remastered and streaming Ghost of Tsushima and then with Alien Isolation kind of mixed in there. Um, and then we're gonna kind of go from there. I don't know everything. I'm sure there's going to be more stuff in between and all over the place, but I just wanted to make sure that everybody was kind of on the same page, that we had a little bit of an update because I know everyone has wondered where are we going? I'm sure some of you guys are wondering how have I been in general. I've been all right. Uh, my allergies have been insane. I mean, honestly insane. Like even right now, I feel the pressure in my sinuses and like in my lungs. I just it's been really bad this year. I don't even know how to explain it. And 
they kind of make me feel sick, um, but not sick, so it just kind of sucks. As for like neck and back pain, I've been hit or miss, but I'd say overall way better because I've been keeping up with doing yoga, keeping up with working out, which for me, that's really important and staying with the chiropractor adjustments and all that stuff. It, it still hurts. Like even right now, my neck hurts, but it's better than it was. And I will take that any day of the week. Oh, but story time. So yesterday I had really dry eyes from from all the allergies and stuff like that. And I just happened to kind of rub my eye a little bit when I had contacts in. And my contact legitimately folded in half, guys, and then just disappeared in my eyeball. Um, and I had to run to the bathroom because I could feel it was there. And I was like prying my eye open. I was looking on the surface. I was looking underneath. I was looking on top and it was gone. This contact was not in front of my eye. It was literally like behind my eye doing whatever God knows what. Uh, and it was scary. <laughs> it was super scary. I just kept like wiping the inner corner of my eye in this hope that maybe if I blink enough and I wipe it enough, it will like come out from back there. And it did. I saw like the corner of it and then quickly swiped it over and got it out from literally behind my eye. But I've never experienced that before in my life. And it was super terrifying. And I hope that y'all never experience it because yeah, I, uh, wasn't great. Didn't like it. 10 out of 10 would not do again. Anyways, now I'm just talking about whatever, God knows what, but I hope that this clears some things up. I hope you guys are well. And yeah, I do want to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for still supporting me and for caring and for motivating me and giving me something that I'm so extremely passionate about, something that I look forward to on the daily basis, being able to hang out with you guys and talk with you guys and make this community something positive, um, which is all I ever wanted. I just wanted to be able to bring people together and give them give them a community to belong to and help get through some of those low points in life because we all kind of go through them and, and encourage each other. And I think that like, honestly, I feel blessed because it's really been this like magical experience seeing everybody come together like that. Because yes, I may have built the foundation to this community, but it is you guys that continue to add the bricks and build the house that we're in. And it's just fucking, it's really awesome. It's really awesome to see that. And it gives me like this boost of positivity. And I, I don't know, I love it. I love being able to share with you guys and laugh with you guys and cry with you guys in these games. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being here and supporting me and motivating me and giving me something to look forward to every day, something to be passionate about, to continue pushing for, and being kind to each other and forming this community based on positivity and just being genuine and yeah, I just, I, I love you guys. I really do. I hope everybody stays safe. Best wishes to all of you. If you guys are interested in checking out the Twitch, the link is in the description down below. And yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed and thanks for watching guys. Bye.